We're going to complete uh, open response writing practice. So this is to help us answer open response questions. These are not easy. Um, that's why we need to practice. Uh, and today I want to practice answering questions that start with describe. Describe. Describe is to say what something is like by giving details. Uh, you get 10 points for answering A, B, and C level questions. These are complex questions. You get uh, 8.5 points. You get a B for answering B and C level. These are complex questions with just uh, simple structures. And you get a C uh, for responding to basic questions. Uh, and F if you did not attempt. Um, so the first example I'm going to give you is describe your weekend. And so I underline how I want you to start your sentence. And so your weekend. So it's your weekend. So I'm going to refer to my weekend or this weekend I took my daughter to Kung Fu and then watched the Super Bowl game with some friends. So that's my sentence for describing my weekend. Um, next, describe how you get to school. So you're going to start your sentence, start your sentence with what is underlined. I get to school by, and then you finish the sentence. I get to school by driving from my house to work. Um, but I could say, but sometimes I take the red line uh, to work. Uh, so that is describe how I get to work. I'm giving details about how I get to school. Next question is describe what a phase changes. This is a simple enough question. You're just giving the definition of a phase change here. Next question, describe how heat is transferred with convection. You're going to start your sentence. Heat is transferred with convection by, and you're here going to just define convection. That's it. Describe, number four, describe what condensation is. You're going to start the sentence, condensation is, and you're just going to define condensation. So look at your vocabulary uh, sheet to answer these questions and see. B gets a little bit more complicated. For B, number five, describe what happens to the average kinetic energy of the molecules in a cup of hot water as it cools. So you're going to start my sentence with this. And here, you're going to tell me what happens to the kinetic energy of the molecules. And generally, when we talk about the kinetic energy, you're going to just tell me, is it increasing or decreasing? That's it for number five. Uh, number six, similar to number five, describe what happens to the average kinetic energy of the molecules in a cup of cold water as the temperature increases. Okay, It's talking about average kinetic energy again of the molecules. And here, you're just going to tell me, is that energy going to increase or decrease? Number seven, describe the phase change of ice as the temperature of the ice increases. So you're going to start your sentence like this, as the temperature of the ice increases. But we're going to talk about the phase change. So what phase is it going to change into if the temperature increases? Ice. <clears throat> Number eight, describe the phase change of water vapor as the temperature of the water vapor decreases. So we're going to start our sentence like this, as the temperature of the water vapor decreases, um, the phase of the water vapor is going to change into what? The water vapor is going to become, is it going to become a solid, a liquid, or a gas as the temperature decreases? All right, A-level questions. Describe the direction of heat transfer, heat flow, between the cups below, here. So remember, heat goes from high to low temperature. So you're going to finish your sentence, or you're going to start your sentence like this. The direction of heat, blow, heat flow between the cups of water in the first few minutes of the investigation is, and you just tell me, from which cup to which cup. Number 10, uh, you have a sample of ice is heated in a closed container. The sample melts and then evaporates. The container, this is an important sentence. It says first it melts. So you go ice, then it becomes a liquid, it melts. 
and then it becomes a gas, it evaporates. The container is then placed outside on a cold day. So if it's outside on a cold day, what's going to happen if it's cold? Think about that. The sample condenses. Okay, so it goes from gas to a liquid and then freezes. So it goes from a liquid to a solid. The average kinetic energy of the sample is measured during these changes. So they're doing measurements. Describe the direction of heat flow between the sample and the air in the container as the sample condenses. So what direction is the heat moving uh, if you're condensing from a gas to a liquid? Okay, and that's not an easy question, but I just want to see that you can respond to this uh, as best as you can um, given the information here and what you know about condensation, phase change, and heat transfer. <clears throat> During cold periods, many orange growers spray their trees with water to prevent the oranges from freezing. If the air is cold enough, the sprayed water freezes around the oranges, leaving the oranges themselves unfrozen. Describe what happens to the average kinetic energy of the water, sprayed water as it cools before it freezes. So what happens to the kinetic energy as something cools? Does it increase? Does it decrease? That's what you're going to tell me. The average molecular kinetic energy of the sprayed water as it cools before it freezes, and you're going to tell me, is it going to increase? Is it going to decrease? A person brings a cup, this is number 12, the last one, a cup of hot chocolate, 7 degrees Celsius, into a room at 20 degrees Celsius, and places a metal spoon at 20 degrees Celsius into the hot chocolate. Describe what happens to the temperature of the hot chocolate. Right here, is this temperature going to increase or decrease, or stay the same, and why? You have to explain. Um, and the room... So is this temperature going to increase, decrease, or stay the same? Why? And the spoon in the cup, is this going to increase, decrease, or stay the same? So the temperature of the hot chocolate, um, you're going to tell me increase, decrease, stay the same. That's one sentence. Then you tell me the room. And then you need one more sentence because they ask you also to explain what happens to the metal spoon, the temperatures. This is what you're talking about here. Okay, if you have questions, let me know.